Hi, we're here in Taipei at the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial. You can see the statue behind me here of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. In front of him usually are guards. It's just about to close now, but we're going to quickly check out some of the things to see here and hopefully learn more about Dr. Sun Yat-sen. And here is a photo of Dr. Sun Yat-sen at the College of Medicine for Chinese and he is the second from the right in the front row. And this here is a duplicate of a handwritten autobiography. And this is his academic record when studying at the College of Medicine for Chinese. And here talks about the education of Dr. Sun Yat-sen as a 14-year-old boy in 1879. He followed his mother and elder brother to Honolulu and experienced Western civilization and Christianity for the first time. And here is a photo of him and his family. When studying at the College of Medicine for Chinese, Sun Yat-sen spent most of his time speaking about revolution with his friends. Together, they were known as the Four Bandits. Starting from the left are Yang Hilling, Sun Yat-sen, Chen Shoubai, and Yu Lai. The one standing was their classmate, Wang Gilian. And here are some different banknotes from around the world. And it says, Revolution required a huge consumption of personal materials and time, particularly the military costs. In order to carry out successful revolution, Dr. Sun Yat-sen traveled around the world to look for supporters. He had been in Europe, United States, and Southeast Asia. On November 26, 1905, Dr. Sun Yat-sen proposed for the first time the ideas of nationalism, democracy, and livelihood in the preface of People, an official newspaper of Tung Meng Hui United League. Democratic Pioneer Following the success of the Xinhai Revolution, Dr. Sun Yat-sen was inaugurated in the Nanjing as the Provisional President of the Republic of China. He established a provisional government, organized the Provisional Senate, and promulgated the Provisional Constitution of the Republic of China, starting a new republic era. Dr. Sun Yat-sen is a universally respected historical figure. Later generations honor his memory in a variety of ways. His theories still continue to be studied and advocated and serve as a foundation for cross Straits peace. Here is the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall, the one that we're in right now. And here is a copy of the monument that's in the entranceway of the hall. And you can see he is on the 100 banknote as well as a postage stamp, the United States 5 cents postage stamp. And in this area you learn more about Dr. Sun Yat-sen and his influence and impact on Taiwan. And here you have a side-by-side -side example of Dr. Sun Yat-sen and Chen Wai Shu, the one who is the um, one who is the father of Republic of China, and the other is the father of the Taiwan New Culture Movement. And then just gives facts comparing the two. 
So both were doctors, both went to medical school, and both wrote important writings. And the three principles of the people are put into practice in Taiwan. So nationalism, rouse the people, strive together with all peoples across the world who treat us as equal. Democracy, where there's democracy, equality and freedom can exist. Without democracy, equality and freedom are merely empty words. And livelihood, maximize the potential of human talent, maximize the potential of natural resources, maximize the potential of manufactured goods, manufacture or maximize the flow of trade. All right, that's all for here for the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial in Taipei. It's free to check out and there's a lot of galleries as well as exhibits so you can learn more about um, <laughs> Dr. Sun Yat-sen and uh, his great achievements and also his influence here in Taiwan. All right guys, see you later. <laughs> Bye.